Step right up. It's the Fernando Tatis Jr. Show, where every swing, every slide, every move is pure gold. This young star's showboat lifestyle leaves jaws dropping and fans screaming for more. And the way he probably hides from all this screaming is when he's locked away inside his house in downtown San Diego, close to the Padres Stadium, Petco Park. Nevertheless, not much is known about this residence, but we know that he could have a luxurious apartment without denting his account. However, during the off-season or any break he gets, he's spending it in his home in the Dominican Republic, which should be nothing short of exquisite given that he spent $800,000 on a dream home for his parents, Maria and Fernando Tatis. While his parents have gone on to create a family that includes himself and his brother Elijah, he's still single and there's no report of him having any partners. But he is, however, never home alone because he has two pet puppies, Nala, Cocker Spaniel, and Pumba, a German Shepherd. He got the puppies when he was home a lot because he was nursing an injury. His injury dealt him psychologically as he was upset over missing so many games, but Nala and Pumba provided a lot of emotional support and helped him get through this tough time. Another thing Tatis probably felt comfort in, like he still does today, is his collection of cars. That's right, the Padre shortstop likes to make a statement with a car he takes on the tar. One of the first purchases he made with his first $100 million was an Audi Q8 worth $220,000 after customization. When more millions were introduced into his count, the Audi Q8 had a new companion in Fernando's garage, a BMW M8 competition worth well over $136,000. Fitted with a twin turbocharged V8 capable of 617 horsepower, the only thing that could possibly slow down Fernando in this whip is traffic. Speaking of traffic, if you don't see Fernando in his M8 in the streets of San Diego, you can see him in it in a BMW advert for the car. Man, just look how shiny Fernando is behind the wheels. He looks like he was plated with diamonds and rubies. If you consider his jewelry collection, this is sometimes possible. Fernando can brag about a spiffy and lavish jewelry collection featuring diamond chains, Cuban links, and plenty more, but his most prized item is his 200 thousand dollar diamond El Nino chain made specially by Hermes with a total of 100 carats of VVS emerald diamond. This piece of bling features a baby face pendant and the text El Nino on it. Another piece of bling that's been seen on Fernando's neck is the Padres swag chain. But this is an honorary piece of jewelry worn by the player of the game or whoever hits a home run. Made with over seven and a half pounds of gold-plated sterling silver, the 10-inch tall and 2-inch thick pendant is studded with 8,000 yellow and brown semi-precious stones. Given the star Fernando is, you can believe that he has rocked the swag chain just as much as his own jewelry. But aside from getting rewarded with jewelry and attention, Tatis also attracts a lot of endorsement deals. That's right, his good looks and amiable personality give brands a strong reason to let him be their face. Fernando has been endorsed by several brands in different industries. So far, he has an endorsement deals with sports companies Adidas, energy drink Gatorade, telecommunications company T-Mobile, and so many more, including pet wellness company and stadium sponsor of the Padres, Petco. As a matter of fact, he even had his puppies as co-stars in a campaign for Petco. But by far the most impressive deal he's landed is as a cover athlete for the video game MLB The Show 21. Fernando became the youngest baseball player to feature on the game's cover and the first Padre player to do so as well. The Padres manager, Jace Tingler, had an interview with Sports Illustrated's Emma Bocciolieri, said he just has the spirit of a 10 or 12 year old playing the best sport in the world and he does it with a swag, a confidence, and he has a blast. But video games aren't the only digital media you'll see Fernando in. On April 26, 2021, Fernando dropped his first official NFT collection on the Eternity Chain platform. This NFT also features real-world collections like baseball accessories. All these sponsorship deals should be enough to sustain a guy with luxurious taste, right? Uh, we're only just scratching the surface. Just wait till you hear about his salary. 
All his earnings from endorsement deals are a drop in the ocean compared to his salary. With the longest contract in baseball history, the Padres have Fernando in their long-term plans. Contract extension he signed in 2021 will see him earn $340 million over the course of 14 years. All that money definitely didn't get to his head because El Nino, the kid, still hasn't lost touch with his roots for he has been doing things to make a difference in his community. Fernando donated a quarter of a million dollars with his first MLB salary, which he and his family used to alleviate poverty in his hometown of San Pedro de Macorís. Fernando has also worked with San Diego pastor Benson Limon and his dad to make the Impact the Dream program a reality. It's an initiative to ensure young kids from the Dominican Republic don't miss out on a good education while chasing a career in baseball. In an NBC interview with Derek Togerson, Fernando Tatis Sr. stated, It was just able to bring hope to a child that may not have any hope because of their natural circumstances. Whether we're they live or their financial background. We want to help provide an avenue where young people can get an education and play their sport. They've collaborated to organize several charity events, including a gold tournament to fund their charitable cause. But their main purpose is to ensure that more Dominican kids get to play in the MLB because all this wouldn't have been possible if Tatis hadn't had the privilege himself. Remember that his professional baseball career as a shortstop and outfielder started when he moved to America in 2015 after being signed by the Chicago White Sox from the Dominican Prospect League. Along with years of grooming in the game, the nickname El Nino, which simply means child, followed him across the ocean to the States. Fernando was a top three prospect in his minor league year. The Padres wasted no time in acquiring him, and they were awarded for their faith in the young Dominican as he made the MLB All-Stars and won the Silver Slugger two years in a row in 2020 and 2021. Fernando was instrumental in the Padres making the playoffs in 2020, which was their first playoff appearance in over 13 years. And even as a youngster, he was putting up stats like a veteran as he was getting featured every chance the Padres could, which is probably why he was injured quite a lot. Suffering from a hamstring injury in April 2019, a back injury in August 2020, and a shoulder injury that required surgery in 2021, this shortstop sure does know how to take a hit. But given his training regimen, makes sense why he's as tough as he is, coming back every time to deliver top-notch performances. His workouts feature hardcore drills to ensure he's in his best shape. Coupled with his trainer, Pascal Medina, who's worked with him since childhood, Fernando's fitness is always bound to stay at the peak. With speed as one of the greatest attributes and the horrible memory of his hamstring injury, Fernando doesn't skip leg day. His idol and fellow hometown baseball player, Robinson Cano, trains in the same gym as him during the offseason, so Fernando is never short of motivation. But aside from workouts at the gym, he also practices in batting cages and baseball fields. With this routine, Fernando is bound to stay at the top of his game for a long time. But he isn't all grind and no fun, he still finds time to have a little fun. When he's not playing baseball and working out, you can actually find him invested in another sport, basketball. He often visits local gyms to spectate, and with the way he cheers the players on, it's hard to miss him. You won't see him playing with the other players, but when the gym is empty, the six foot three tall baseball player does put in some convincing layups and dunks. And when he's not in the groove of hooping, he might be styling his hair. Or his feet are busy finding a rhythm with the music. He's even stated that he's the best dancer in the Padres team. But his teammate, Machado, insists he should keep it off social media. He may be a grown man, but he's a kid at heart when he's doing what he loves best. If you enjoyed this video about Fernando Tatis Jr.'s showboat lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.